Yes. So right now, which is interesting, is the state of Florida has been funding studies, right? And we continue to spend a lot of money on studies. So my hope is that we can work together. We've already started having those conversations, not only with other candidates running in the neighboring districts, but currently elected and incumbents returning to their seats about putting forward some aggressive plans to help also change specifically the number one thing is working with the cities and counties to help switch um, and improve the septic tax system. Um, there was a study that was done recently at the county that pretty much we have eight years before the septic tanks uh, within all, all, most of the district um, are going to, you know, overfill and start polluting our, our water supply. So that would be the first thing that we need to address. The other is actually making sure that we um, we work with other neighboring uh, districts, especially on the coast, to make sure that we're making resilient um, structure and construction uh, requirements and work with local counties um, to do that. And then also, we also have parts of a very affluent neighborhood, believe it or not, that don't even have, um, that are still on well water. And so they don't have fire hydrants. They're about a little less than a thousand homes, but they're also older homes, which is mostly you know, older residents, but because it's an affluent area, the county doesn't want to help, the state doesn't necessarily want to help, which used to have a, a program to help them switch into um, water and sewer. So making sure that we help that and address that because, you know, there's the water, it was already been proven that the well water is contaminated. Um, so we really need to make sure those two major things are addressed immediately when we get into office. Mm -hmm.